guys welcome back okay so i sat down at my beauty desk today and was trying to figure out what palette i want to use what look i want to do honestly what i want to do period because sometimes i want to like i've said this before i want to just sit down and talk about makeup i don't necessarily want to put it on <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and put some on so i'm not looking crazy okay but the palette that I wanted to play with today is this new e.l.f. Retro Paradise eyeshadow palette. Um, something about this palette just kind of drew me in. You know, I don't know if it's the whole retro thing or if it's the kind of like peachy background up against these colors. But something about the color story of this palette drew me in. But when I opened my package and looked at it, I was like... It's not as exciting in person as it was online. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Something about it is just like, eh, you know, just kind of lackluster. But I still like the combination of shades that they chose. So this is the palette that I want to play in today. I did not buy the whole collection. Um, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't want all that stuff. I just wanted the palette. But I also picked up a lip gloss. So this is one of the Dream On lip glosses, and I got the one that is Tropical Fruit Punch. So it's still in this cute little packaging, but I'll use that today also. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this collection. But anyways, I picked up the palette, and I picked up a lip gloss, and I kept it pushing, okay? <laughs> so let me do some swatches. I don't think I'm going to swatch this whole thing, because it looks like uh, with this palette, there's like some... You know some neutral shades some really pretty shimmers and then you got your pops of color over here nice dark um black kind of looks like an off black to me dark blue so i'm just gonna swatch some of the key shades that look interesting to me and then we'll start putting this on my eyes okay so i'll do some of the shimmers first Okay, so those are some of the shimmers. Looks like that second one is kind of like a dual chrome situation. You know, like a topper. And the third one kind of looks like a topper as well. But the first and the fourth one, the gold and the blue, look very pretty. Okay, let me get some of these mattes. A lot of kick up in this pan, okay? The lavender. Uh, these uh, mattes are swatching pretty bad, pretty bad. I mean, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have that many high hopes. <laughs> but, you know, swatches aren't always the whole story. So, we'll just have to see what happens. But okay, yeah. so that's what the green looks like. All right. Looks buildable. And this is the black. Okay, so the black is actually not that bad. It looks more kind of like an off black, but it actually doesn't look that bad. So, okay. Looks buildable. Okay, you guys, I'm not sure what I want to do with this eclectic mix of shades. I think I want to start with this one down here which is called caliente looks kind of like a orangey shade i just kind of want to see how this pigmentation is um in application oh and i did prep my lids with some of my p louise base i just put down a, a thin layer Okay, so Caliente is not doing a lot, okay? She's showing up a little bit, but... Hmm. I mean, it's definitely a nice transition shade for what I'm trying to do today. But if I want it like a real strong pop of orange, yeah, I'm not getting that from this shadow. Yeah, so I did have to go in quite a bit just to build it up to this pigmentation, which you see is not a lot. Okay, so next I'm going to go into Spiced, this shade here, and I'm going to focus that in my crease. 
And the kick up in this palette, you guys, is serious. <laughs> this is a lot of kick up. I don't like that color. In my opinion, it's very unique, but it's very powdery, okay? <laughs> very powdery. Now, since this is called the e.l.f. Retro Paradise, I do want to do something retro. Um, I think I'm going to have to cut my crease, but I do want to deepen my outer corners a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take this black and just try to gently deepen my outer corners. And I just barely tapped in, so. You know, I don't want it to get out of hand. Okay, yeah, I think that is deep enough. Okay, so we got a little smokiness going on. Let's see how quickly we can ruin this island. <laughs> Trying to go retro. I really want to use these purple and green mattes, but I don't know how I'm going to do that without looking completely crazy. Maybe I'll do the gold and the green. Let me cut my crease a little bit right quick, and then we will work on the lid. Okay, so now I'm going to get a little crazy might completely ruin this eyelid, but retro palette, I'm going to try and create a retro type look. <laughs> okay, so I wanna go into this green. I just, I have to put that green on my lid. So I'm just gonna tap some of that on the inner portion of my cut crease. This might be an all matte look, you guys. Okay, so I have that green down. Very cute, that's a very cute color. I did have to build it up quite a bit, but it is, it's a cute color. Now I'm going to go into this lavender shade here and tap that right next to the green. Now that I have that lavender down, I'm gonna go back in with just a teeny bit of that black, just to kind of, you know, blend out the outer edge of my eye. Okay, I must say this eye look is <laughs> turning out very unique for me, even for me. <laughs> unique so I'm gonna throw on some eyeliner finish my complexion and then we'll come back finish the lower lash line and try out this lip gloss okay you guys so my complexion is done and I want to move on and finish up this lower lash line so I'm gonna go in with one of my LA girl neon shockwave liners this is a purple one and I'm going to line my lower lash line with this Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep it simple for my lower lash line with this kind of retro eye look today. I'm just gonna go with that purple and leave it alone. I'm not gonna smoke anything out or add any mascara at this point in time. So let's check out this lip gloss. Now the one that I got is the Tropical Fruit Punch and this is what it looks like in the tube. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and line my lips. I'm going to use my ColourPop BFF4. And since the lip liner does add a bit of depth to my lips, of course, 
I'll go ahead and swatch it for you so you can see what it looks like, you know, without the lip liner. But it's very, very light. It's like a very sheer, very sheer gloss. You can kind of see the color there. <laughs> That's a horrible swatch. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. That is a horrible swatch. But, yeah, it's really not much to see. You know, it's just a light pink gloss. So. It has a very, you know, kind of thin, flat applicator. Very flimsy. I don't necessarily care for this type of applicator, but... For $5, I won't be too picky. <laughs> it smells like some kind of tropical punch. It does. <laughs> I can't say it smells good, but it does smell like a, a punch, a fruity punch. It's nice. It's comfortable. Not too sticky. Um, not too heavy. Very nice kind of light gloss. Not bad. So this is the look today, you guys, for this e.l.f. Retro Paradise Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I mean, it's cute. I like the different colors that they have in here. It's kind of fun. It is powdery. Like, it has a lot of kick up. A lot of kick up. And it does take some building up. But it's definitely doable. It's definitely workable doable i didn't use any of the shimmers today but you guys saw the swatches you know they look fine um it's 14 bucks this could definitely go for like 9.99 definitely <laughs> but i mean it's cute no i mean you know I, I didn't need it i just wanted to try for you guys so anywho those are my thoughts on the palette i think it created a nice cute little look i like the mixture of colors a little powdery, a little dusty, a little overpriced, but, you know, whatever. Lip gloss, nice, lightweight, very comfortable. So, yeah, this is one that I could pop on, you know, every day just or throw it in my purse. One of those type of glosses. So, I like it. No complaints. So, that's it, you guys, for today's video. Hopefully, you had fun hanging out with me to try out this Retro Paradise Palette and Gloss. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!